When I received the invitation to speak, I was honored, I was humbled, and truth be told, I was a little surprised. You see, I didn't exactly graduate summa cum laude, despite that lovely introduction. It was more like, Lordy, he finally made it. I really wish there was something groundbreaking I could share about my path to where I am today, but honestly, it's like the Auburn Creed says. It comes down to a commitment to work, hard work, delivering on your promises, and your commitment to service to others. It's really the main ingredient in the secret sauce, and I learned that at Auburn. My trajectory in life hasn't been a linear one. I've taken a number of big bets on changes that felt huge and risky at the moment. I've always surrounded myself with people I like, people who I thought were brilliant, who were doing cool things, who weren't afraid to challenge themselves and those around them. That instinct is what led me to Auburn. That instinct is what led me to teach 257th graders music. And that instinct is what led me to join a small but growing online bookseller called Amazon.com in 1999. All of this comes down to my belief that you are developed and defined by the communities you choose to join. It's the people you surround yourself with, the human connections you create, and that ultimately lead to happiness, fulfillment, and success. We almost never earn anything alone. Of course, success requires work, passion, and commitment, but it's our communities that support us when we inevitably screw up. So find a way to work on hard problems with people you trust, people you admire, and people you feel challenged by. And if you ever get the sense that you're the smartest person in the room, it just means it's time to get out of there and find a new room. When I got to Amazon, I definitely wasn't the smartest person in the room. I joined a community of like-minded builders, smart, driven people who saw the world as an endless stream of possibilities. The environment at Amazon challenged me to be better, push further than I ever thought possible. So many great things have been created through heat and pressure, and times like today spawn innovation and opportunity for those with the courage and audacity to take on new challenges. These are traits I know are embedded in Auburn graduates. You are forever a member of the Auburn family. We have your back, so go out, be bold, be brave, embrace your communities, and build great things so that my boys can come listen to you when they graduate from this remarkable place. You got everything you need to take on the world and win. So, ever to conquer, never to yield, give them hell, class of 2022. Congratulations in War Damn Eagle.